it's easy to understand why anglers in Wyoming hike into wilderness areas to go fishing. The scenery can blow you away. There's plenty of solitude. And catching fish from these lakes, well, that makes for a unique experience. Making that backcountry trip worthwhile for those anglers, though, means making sure there's fish in those lakes to take back to camp. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department recently wrapped up its annual helicopter fish stocking efforts for the year. I caught up with them while they stocked the Wind River Range lakes out of Dubois and Pinedale. Fish Culture Assistant Supervisor Guy Campbell says stocking fish this way is a more efficient and more successful way to stock alpine lakes. Yeah, well, we do our helicopter stocking only because it's, it's efficient to get into the high mountain lakes to stock fish. If we were to do it by horseback, that could take a day to several days to stock in the fish. With a helicopter, we actually can get into these lakes fairly quick. And when we get in there, it's low stress on the fish. And uh, we, get the, uh, we have very good survival once those fish reach the waters. Some of these lakes need help to maintain fish populations through natural reproduction, and some lakes receive more angler pressure than others, so a fresh infusion of fish helps. 71,000 fish were stocked in 50 lakes statewide this year. Yellowstone, Snake River, and Colorado River cutthroat, splake, brook trout, lake trout, and golden trout. Cutthroats are stocked in their native ranges. The fish are loaded into specific tanks for the lake to be stocked. Each holds about 1,200 fish. Oxygen and ice help reduce stress to the fish and slow down their metabolism. With the aid of GPS technology and maps provided to the pilot and a control switch triggered inside the chopper by the pilot, the lake is stocked. Impact of the fish is minimal. This year, Game and Fish stocked lakes in the Beartooth and Absorca Mountains, Wind River Range Lakes in the Pinedale and Dubois areas, and the Grovant Range in the Jackson area. Fisheries managers evaluate which lakes to stock by regularly sampling the lakes and using Creel Census data to determine stocking strategy. Before helicopter stocking came along, the department relied on packing fish in on horseback with panniers, a time-consuming and less efficient process it made helicopter stocking and its higher fish survival rate, plus its lower costs, an easy decision. Now, these fish won't be ready for the dinner table yet. That'll take a few years. But other fish in these lakes will be. So as the weather begins turning cooler, grab your gear and get yourself and a friend into the backcountry for a few days. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.